Beaver management can be a challenge, including when they plug culverts and cause flooding. But beavers are an integral component of healthy ecosystems and riparian areas, improving water quality, providing water storage and habitat, and adding resiliency to watersheds in times of both flood and drought. Using beaver coexistence techniques, like exclusion fencing on culverts, is one way to prevent the negative impacts beavers cause while keeping them, the beavers, on the landscape and gaining the benefits that they provide. So uh, the wire mesh uh, we use is sort of a six inch by six inch opening. The cage is built on land and then we drag it out into place. Put them all in one pile there for now. So you want to try to line those up, give them a good squeeze, get them locked down on the top first, and then you're going to lock them down all the way. Once it's in place, and we'll use these steel T posts uh, to provide some support and to anchor it to the ground so it doesn't wash away in higher water events. Front here to give yourself a little bit of support for anything coming into the front of this cage. And then any time you're going to get debris on the front of it, it's nice to have one or more supports on the front. So you could run a couple of those steel T-posts all the way around. And then we always put this wood header in on the top. This really provides a lot of support. It isn't necessary for the function of it, uh, but for the support, for debris, uh, you know, individuals climbing over top of it, that kind of thing. And it cleans up the look on it really nicely too. Okay, so this is our uh, beaver exclusion fence. Um, obviously, you know, this is going to keep beavers out of that culvert. Uh, so what happened here in this case is we had a, a large grate that was put in front of the culvert uh, to kind of keep the beavers out. But what ends up happening is these grates almost provide a support for beavers to start damming up against. So we've put in the exclusion fence. The exclusion fence sort of works on three basic principles. So first off, what we've done is we've made their job a lot harder to do. We've taken what was a three foot culvert and now we've made it, you know, nine feet by 10 feet by nine feet. Uh, so we've increased the amount of job that they've had to do. Beavers also have an instinctual trigger that they when they hear the sound of moving water, they want to start damming that up. So with these uh, sort of corrugated um, culverts, 
they're notorious for that noise running through them. So beavers obviously want to be targeting those culverts. So what ends up happening is as they start to dam as close to the culvert as they can, this fence sort of pushes them away from that culvert. It pushes them away from that stimulus and away into slower moving water. And the third and most important feature of this is the angle that, that, that these fences are built at. Uh, so they're built in sort of a trapezoid shape like this. Beavers want to dam across the flow of water. With this, they're actually forced to dam with the flow of water, and in some cases almost against the flow of water. So it's a very unnatural angle for beavers to be able to dam. So even if they do start damming on this, they're pushed out into sort of into, into that flow of water and their damming materials almost against that flow of water. So it's a very unnatural angle for them to dam at. 